A new large language model has just dropped and it's called Quinn 2. As per their blog, 70, Quinn 2 72 billion is better in every benchmark against Llama 3, MMLU, MMLU Pro. What's more crazy, they've reported 64.4% on MMLU Pro, which puts it above GPT-4 Turbo but below Claude Opus. This is wild given that it's only 72 billion model. The reason MMLU Pro is important here because it just came out recently and it includes new questions and it extends four multiple choice question to 10. So it is likely to be way better than Llama 370B, Cloud Sonnet, Yi Large, a Gemini 1.5 and even beats marginally GPT-4 Turbo. So Quen2 is released by an organization called Quen. Uh, they're part of Alibaba Cloud. They've released five different sizes, 0.5 billion, 1.5 billion, 7 billion. I believe this is 57 billion. I'm not sure what's going on here. And then 72 billion. And they're doing both pre-trained and instruct models. So they've a um, mixture of context length, 0.5 billion and 1.5 billion it is 32k for 57 billion it's 64k weirdly and for 7 and 72 billion it, they've extended it to 128k all instruction tuned versions have been trained on 32k context length but it seems to have been fine-tuned to longer 128k using yarn and dual chunk attention so the 72 billion has seems to have perfect recall uh, for needle in the haystack uh, 428k whereas the 70 billion seems to have slight degradation at 40k when it's placed in the middle of the context and for the top part and bottom part of the document seems to be working fine what i find is weird that why 40k why not 48k and why it's working everything else up after 40k and i've seen this being reported by other models as well which always puts me off like why just here it seems to be an error on the reporting side or measurement side so all their new models do use group query attention quen 2 is mostly trained on chinese and english language but this time around they've added another 27 languages so the pre-trained version seems to be doing quite well against llama 3 so specifically human eval there is a quite a big jump and there is a decent jump on mbpp as well and gsm 8k there is a good improvement but on CEVAL and CMMLU there seems to be a huge jump. Looking at the Instruct benchmark doing quite well against Llama 70B except on MBPP benchmarks lower, uh, two points lower and two points lower on GSM 8K. It could be that the model has been highly censored. They might have an impact on it, maybe, I don't know. And there seems to be a remarkable improvement in math compared to Llama 70, 70B. And the same goes for coding as well. One thing which is I find interesting is that they have created another blog post showing that they have uh, processed a 1 million token document using this new model which is worth looking into and i might do a video on that in terms of censorship it seems to be highly censored compared to gpt4 yeah, same goes when uh, prompts are fraudulent it has the same level as in gpt4 zero percent except that seven percent on french for some reason on how spicy content it can generate it seems to be a bit more spicy than gpt4 even a bit more spicy than mistral so yeah that's something people can look forward to i guess that was a joke and privacy and violence i guess or either privacy violation or privacy violence uh it seems to be highly censored there as well in terms of license all their new models of 0.5 billion 1.5 7 57 all now use apache 2.0 which is amazing except that 72 billion still using old quinn license but i don't know i've not looked into what's the difference though they also mentioned they've got larger models still in training similar to meta i'll do another video to test this uh, once i have a gguf format available either online if, or if i created one myself um uh, so i'll post that when when it is ready i'll post the link to this blog in the description uh that's it for this video hopefully you guys liked it thank you for watching